mad. Mad, I tell you. Mad. It's all mad. So mad, mutually assured destruction. So I was reading a... I've been watching videos and reading comments and reading other small things because I don't really read books anymore because, you know, books are just, you know, so 1980s. Well, so 1680s through 1980s. So I haven't really been read. I don't, don't necessarily... I've got a bunch of books to read and I might have to get back into it because I'm going to be having to do a lot of reading in uni. But, you know, for fun... Anyway, there's this guy, Isaac Arthur. He's a uh, futurist and an author and things like that. You know, I was uh, watching these videos, not by him, but I bring him up for a reason. You'll see in a second. I was reading these uh, comments about this, this guy's got a video. It's, it's uh, villains too stupid to live or too stupid to win. Can't remember. It's like film theory or... I can't remember. I can't remember. If I'll post it in the... I'll stick it in the description. The channel. Anyway, someone brought up a quote from this other guy who is the futurist, and it's this. <clears throat> if you're an artificial intelligence focused primarily on self-preservation, starting a war with the undisputed champions of destruction is a terrible survival strategy. So, like um, Skynet or the other iterations of that, that similar thing, or most robot civilizations in, you know, I mean, there's, there's a few exceptions where the androids are so powerful that, that there's no real fight. But humans, a lot of humans, not all, but a lot of humans have this um, perfect willingness to sacrifice everything for the sake of winning. So you notice it in everyday life. People are willing to sacrifice a ticket, danger, everything to get through that red light that they could just wait a couple minutes for. I mean, I had a rant about it the other day here. I was really pissed off at the amount of people that use, that just run red lights. I run orange and when I'm in the intersection, it might turn red, but that's not running a red light. I know, semantics, semantics, but I'm talking really, really red lights. Everybody else has stopped. That I've even seen people go around other cars to get through the lights, even after the other traffic has started moving. So people are completely and utterly happy to sacrifice themselves or others to accomplish a goal. So fighting these people becomes difficult. When I say fight, what do I mean? I don't know. There's a lot of stupidity going on in the world. There's a lot of people with a lot of power doing a lot of things that are not going to be detrimental to the plebs on the planet. And somehow I'm going to have to side with people that I fundamentally and morally disagree with 90% of what they do because most people are out for themselves. My whole life, well, my whole life since I've been with my, my wife, has been how are we going to deal with her parents getting older when they can't look after themselves. When one of them passes away, they've, they've got this really... From the outside looking in, it seems a bit shit sometimes, but there's this symbiotic thing going on where they both do certain tasks really, really, really well, but I don't know if the other one would be able to do those tasks by themselves and vice versa. Which means somebody else would have to come in and I was happy for it to be us. Oh, great. Battery's dead on that camera. It's good I've got another one. Came from a second hand shop for like 20 bucks. Doesn't have a charger, the battery's flat. We'll see what happens. Anywho, don't really have anything else to say. And uh, that's just weird. Hang on. There you go. Better, better location. Um, yeah, so mad. Mad, I told you. Mad.